ice raids are real. Now here's what New Yorkers have to say about them. Developments in the Epstein case present new concerns for his lawyer and one of Brooklyn's finest making a name for himself. I'm Judea Murray and we've got a lot to talk about in the borough today. Maybe you heard about the reported immigration raids from Twitter or Facebook. Well, I'm here to tell you New Yorkers were having none of that this weekend. There were two unsuccessful arrests during suspected ICE raids in Sunset Park on Saturday. You're looking at hundreds gathered throughout the city to protect those fearing deportation. And if you're keeping up with Jeffrey Epstein's case, more women have come forward against him. These women say Epstein abused them when they were underage. Today, prosecutors are working on fighting against the Brooklynites' bail, saying the new allegations could potentially make him a flight risk. Keep your eyes on News 12 for updates on that one. Now, yesterday was perfect weather for about 500 Brooklynites to set out for a half marathon in Coney Island. Basketball was his favorite sport, and now it's being played in his honor. Over in Mill Basin, a basketball attorney honors the life of Justin Hackley, a young man who was gunned down two years ago. Justin's mom gave away two $500 scholarships in her son's name. The family hopes that more community events like this one will spread the message of anti-gun violence. And while we're talking about ball, let's take a look at a beautiful Brooklyn moment. Posh Alexander thought his basketball career was over when he broke his funny bone. Once coaches started like recognizing me, recognizing me again, I got kind of happy, so like, because I thought I lost it. He couldn't have been more wrong. The kid is back, and let me tell you, he is better. St. John's, Seton Hall, and Dayton offered him scholarships. Notre Dame and Virginia entered the scene with interest too. Well, thanks for grabbing a quick bite with me. Now here's your weather. Let's shine a little sun on your Monday.